this week's episode of One Punch Man was so good because we, we get introduced to new heroes, we get explanation on the threat levels, we also get Saitama being so awesome. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome. So, yeah. First of all, let's start with what the threat is in this uh, episode, and that is actually a meteor it, that if it would have hit CD set, it would have obliterated or annihilated the entire city. However, there is, uh, the hero organization has uh, called in the S, all S heroes to deal with the threats. And there's only three showing up. One of them is Genus, which is S7 um, seven and uh, 17. Yeah, we, you know him, the cyborg that lives with Saitama. And he is also S... And after this, he is S16. Then we have Bang, who is S3, as a rank, uh, S, rank S and number 3 in S rank. And I really like him because he seems to be a mix between being serious and being comedic. So yeah, <laughs> I hope we get to see more of him because I really like him. And then we have the he, oh well, he doesn't really do much except for saving Genus when uh, Genus unleashes his uh, basically ultimate attack by basically putting his core into his uh, prototype arm and firing like a beam. And what I mean with the uh, Bang being a bit, a bit uh, you know, trolly is that he basically says, Oh, I thought, I think you are pushing back the meteor. And then he, he says, No, it's just my imagination. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we know Genus can't do it, or yeah, he can't do it. However, he does better than Bofoy or Metal Knight, who is rank uh, S and number seven, number six after this episode. Who I really don't like him because he don't want to work together with other heroes. He want to take all the credits. Uh, this Metal Knight, and also he doesn't think about you know this as a threat to humanity. He thinks of it more like, oh, I get to test my weapon. Because that is not a meteor, that is a remote controlled drone. Which could mean that he may was the one that caused it to change direction to CD set. So yeah, it's, I don't like him. So I don't like he get a promotion. But in the end, we know that Saitama, he just shows up when Basically everything is dying. Not only does he shatter the meteor, he also stops its mom its momentum. Sadly, he couldn't avoid that it splits uh, up in uh, to uh, small, uh, you know, rocks and hits uh, CD set and devastates it. However, it isn't being obliterated. <laughs> and yeah, he gets a promotion from C three hundred forty two to C five. And he's been told by uh, what he called Genus that if there had been no damage at all, he would have ranked up to S5 as a rank. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know what it is when I say S5. So, yeah. But because of that uh, damage, he could only get so high. But still, that is an insane jump. And he was, that, he was informed that even destroying the meteor would have put him in... in uh, rank uh, A. However, the reason why he didn't get rank A was because the hero organization thought that Metal Knight and Genos was helping. But let's face it, Metal Knight, he didn't really do a shit. Genos, he may have done something, but still, he didn't really do it. They really didn't deserve anything. And yeah, Saitama is a bit annoyed that that Genus took uh, his rank from him. But we learn, as I said, about the, you know, threat levels. First, we have Tiger, which is a conflict or, you know, a crisis that uh, can cost a lot of lives. Then we have rank Demon, which can basically ha uh, half the, uh, half the, the function uh, of a city. You know, like, let's say, example, a person took, like, all the internet in the city and basically made it go down. That would be a ranked demon. Then we have ranked dragon, 
or a trade level dragon, which is what the meteor was, which is the which is a crisis that could cause the destruction of multiple cities. And then we have the final one that I I really wonder if we will ever see that ex issued, which is a rank kami or in English rank a uh, trade level guard, who is basically a crisis that could cause the entire human populations uh, populations extinction. So that is nice to know. So yeah, really interesting episode. However, it's not all heroes that is happy about it. Or so whilst uh, I, while it's uh, while Saitama he's out walking and sees that his favorite uh, what's called supermarket is being destroyed and yet. The shitty um, apartment he was kicked out of is still standing. <laughs> I like how he's basically pissed at that. Then, uh, the, yeah, while he is doing that, Tank Top Tiger is showing up and he is angry that he got promoted so fast and thought that he was cheating. So he called his brother Tank Top Black Hole, who can pre press with the uh, abilities, as I recall, 296. Uh, PSI. I'm not sure if that is the the pressure black hole presses with, but it can be that. And they basically tries to break him, not by fighting him, but basically getting the mobs to uh, or people around him to, you know, tell him that he is uh, bad for not uh, you know causing this devastation. Even thought the you know the damage from the meteor would have obliterated it. One of the persons who are pissed at him actually tells him that the reason he is pissed is because that thanks to him his new car was destroyed. If it wasn't for him, he would have died. And what Saitama tells them is that he don't care. He didn't become a hero for fame. He became a hero because he wanted to. So if they have an issue, they can take it up with the meteor. However, let's say like this. The the two tank top tiger and tank top black hole try to take him down. However, he defeats them. Tank top tiger, he just defeats by basically turning around. And black hole he just takes basically both his hands and holds them basically with his uh, fingers. He doesn't even punch or anything. And yet, tank top black hole cries and asks for mercy. And at the end, we see him basically crawling away. And yeah, we also see Bang in the background basically looking at seeing uh, how they are basically trying to cross a rookie. And that's why they will never get above B. Which is of course understandable because you don't want people who crosses other people to get high up. Else you end up like a griffin. And yeah, I'm talking about Berserk Griffin. But when that is said and done, I don't have any more to talk about in about this awesome episode so you guys have a good day good night wherever you are and i'll see you later hopefully cheers guys or girls <laughs>